everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my December TBR. December is the last month of the year, last stretch to hit your reading goals if you have any that haven't been hit yet. To be honest, I hit my reading goal in like September, I believe, so I feel like I haven't been as motivated. I feel like I could have increased my goal, but I'm currently dealing with a sinus infection and reading has been really difficult. Like my eyes are just hurting and I'm always tired, so... I am not going to be giving myself a ridiculous amount of books this month to read, which is weird because I'm always doing that. I feel like right now I'm like more excited about my videos of like, oh, my top 10 favorite of this year or my top 10 worst read of the year. And I'm less in the mood to actually read a bunch of books. I'm just excited for 2018. Are you like me? Are you like trying to hit your goals? What is your goals? Because my goal was to hit 100 books, which I'm currently at 114, I believe. So... I'm proud, but I still have a few that I'm hoping to read. The first one being something I've been waiting for like two months for. Yeah, it finally arrived. I ordered this October 2nd and it arrived yesterday. The first book I'm hoping to read this month is The Last Town by Blake Crouch. It's the third book in the Wayward Pines trilogy, which I have loved. I like, I read the first one because I loved Dark Matter by like Crouch and I didn't even really realize that he had more books and when I looked I realized he had some so I just grabbed it you know why not I really liked the first one loved it was not expecting this and then ordered the two next books and the last one took forever to arrive so I ended up watching the TV show which don't really recommend I watched the whole show because I couldn't wait for the third book anymore didn't really Love it. They made some huge, huge changes that just made me yell at my TV like, it's not how it happens in the book. So if you want to feel like that, then watch it. Otherwise, I would recommend reading a trilogy if you're in the mood for like a thriller kind of sci-fi book. I, I was surprised. Uh, I'm currently, I obviously started it right away. And I did use a bobby pin, yes, to mark my page because I had nothing else. And I'm currently at page 77, so you can read this so fast. I swear the trilogy could be one book, just saying it. But uh, I'm currently enjoying it. There's also some big changes that I can see already in the third book. But I want to finish it. I'm afraid I might be not satisfied with the ending after seeing the one in the book, uh, in the TV show. So we'll see how it goes, but I still feel so far that it is is worth to read. So I am doing this. I'm blabbing so much, but... If you're looking for a book and you have similar taste, that trilogy has been great. So the rest of my reading goals for this month are mostly, Emma, it's time for you to finish the books you've started. Like, stop starting more books. I mean, it seems pretty simple, right? But for some reason, I've been starting so many books. I actually, I'm in the middle of Gemini, which I read the first book earlier this year, which was Illuminae. Illuminae. And I did actually like it a lot more than I expected. And a lot of people were telling me to try the audiobook because apparently it's really good and mistakes. I wouldn't recommend it as an audiobook. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It just kind of felt weird to... Some of the dialogues are a little like cringy YA because it's a sci-fi, a YA sci-fi. And for some reason, listening to adults, grown-up adults, like fake swear because they, they are cut every time they say like any swear words. And just saying those like corny, flirty things to each it was awkward. I was getting secondhand embarrassment. Just gonna, do you feel the same? Is it just me? Maybe I'm too old now to read those? I don't know. But I am planning on finishing it. I'm like, I have like two hours left, literally. But it, I feel like a third into it, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like this. And then some stuff happened that was like, oh, maybe. But then, no. So I'm gonna finish it just to say I finished it. But... I don't like it as much as the first one. So do you feel the same? I feel like everyone was saying that the second one is even better and I kind of disagree. Maybe it's, I should have just read the book instead of the audiobook though. Next, I wanted to finish more of the books that I started and didn't finish. This one, this is So You've Been Publicly Shamed by John Ronson. It's basically about people that said some stuff on Twitter or on the internet in general and they shouldn't have and people are just you know unleashing hell on them and so far it's been interesting. I'm literally halfway through it. It's just one of those books I started and just didn't finish. I'm I sh I'm sure I can finish this in a day. Like, it's so quick to read, but just me being weird. The book I absolutely want to finish this month is uh, Sapien, A Brief History of Humankind, which I did enjoy, 
I'm currently like 300 and something pages into it and there's like I have like less than 200 pages left basically and I am enjoying it I feel like I preferred the beginning and then it kind of slowed down for me and I've been struggling to finish it but I want to finish it I am enjoying it it's just a little slower it's obviously nonfiction, and I feel like some bits obviously in the whole humankind history are more interesting to me than other clearly so just need to happen I don't know if I want to include more books in here or not. Maybe like the new Harry Potter books, which you can kind of see this one here. Because I wanted to read them this month, but I haven't been able to because time and health. <laughs> so the only other one that I'm going to be including in here that is like a must finish is Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows by J.K. Rowling, obviously. Uh, I have been rereading Harry Potter in English, actually reading it for the first time in English, and I have been really enjoying myself. It had been so long. I feel like I kept rereading them in the past like every year at least once, and then I didn't read it for like five years, and now I'm rereading them, and it's just as good, obviously, as I remember it, and it's the last one for me to reread. This one is like 600 pages, but for me it's just like a... Every time I read Harry Potter, it's either in the middle of summer or around Christmas, which it just gives me that like fuzzy feeling inside. I feel like we all feel it like that. I feel like every Christmas scene in Harry Potter is always like, oh my god, although this one's a little different. But I just want to continue and finish the series and then I'll probably start it again next year because... What is your favorite time to reread Harry Potter? I feel like summer and Christmas are like my time to read them. Is it the same for you? I know some people actually reread the whole like seven books around Christmas, which I'm tempted, but I might just rewatch all the movies because I haven't watched them in a long time and then read this one. Let me know. So yeah, it's literally the only TBR I'm giving myself, which is crazy because I usually have like 10 plus books and I usually end up reading 10 plus books, but I just don't want to put too much pressure on myself because there's a few big videos I'm planning and then I'm kind of sick. And I just want to like finish this year and then like, I'm excited for next year, basically. <laughs> like way too much in advance, but that's just how things are. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my very quick TBR. What is on your TBR this month? Which book are you planning on reading? Do you have anything special for Christmas that you're planning on reading? Harry Potter too. <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and not miss any future videos. I will be putting on the screen some other videos that I've done that I highly recommend you check out and I will see you in my next one. Bye.